I am uh, Dave, I sing in Big D in the kids' table. I'm Ryan, I play saxophone. Yeah, the thing we have Chris, I play trumpet. Well, how are you guys enjoying Warped Tour? Like it. It's great. I mean, uh, before going on a Warped Tour, I was living in a small cabin in like very, very, very small, like Jed Clampets. And, uh, and so it's great. It's nice to uh, be out and see a lot of people and change states every day and just be part of what we kind of call the modern American circus. That's right. Why I hate it. <laughs> That's just like you know, punk rock summer camp. Go across, you know, go across the country a couple times and, and hang out, uh, play some yeah. music. Yeah, I, we also think. Uh, I was. We were saying the other day that this is this society of warp tour works better than our country. You know who's in charge. You respect that. You know where to get food. You know where to get water. You know where to get beer. Showers. Yeah, everything's figured out. If someone tells you to cut it out, you can cut it out. And it's probably in your best interest to keep on. Yeah. Maybe they need to talk to Kevin. I think Kevin should be president. <laughs> I'm saying Kevin should probably be president. Lyman, 2012. And his uh, his his house will be uh, production <laughs> for the country. Yeah. yeah, it would definitely work. <laughs> so, what are some crazy stories you can share with us about anything that you've seen that's you know kind of off the wall this year? This year, well, we saw that fight that over the pizza that oh, never yeah. really. We saw a 45 minute fight over a slice of pizza that we never saw a punch thrown. Yeah, mm -hmm. probably like 20 dudes. Just, Four? Just kind of swelling up on each other. Jeez, it's hard to engage uh, yelling dudes. Uh, I would say 20 dudes. Yeah, mm -hmm. everybody yeah. was backing up their boy. Barking. Over a, and nothing to hurt happened. We went outside to watch it. You were like, do it, guys. Um, and the best was the guy who screamed the most, most uh, animated. I was wearing a peace shirt. We liked it. It was a good <laughs> You didn't take pictures of that movie. I know. It was, uh, we put the chariots of fire to it. That'd be awesome. That's like fail blog worthy. <laughs> Worst fight of the summer. Yeah. That would have been good. Craziest thing that happened to me, uh, someone threw a flip-flop at the stage, and I thought I had matrixed my way out of it, but I caught it in the valve of my trumpet. Ah. So I went to play, and there was actually a sandal stuck in my horn. I was like, that is good. Someone threw me a flyer and I caught. I'm like, what? No, someone threw me a like whipped a CD at my face. Oh yeah. And I made sure, and I was like, and every time I bad, dab and dab, and everyone was like, that was pretty good. I was like, yeah, but stop throwing. <laughs> <laughs> they keep throwing more and more interesting stuff. Yeah, it's, it's impressive. I keep it up. And the paps, the paps blue yeah, ribbon. The, the, the girl threw a paps blue ribbon with a note yeah, attached to it, and it exploded in a, in a way you've never, you've never seen a beer explode. <laughs> it got on everything. And then we had to mop the stage down. The letter was pretty depressing. The letter too. was really <laughs> depressing. Was it really? Well, no, no. She, you know, she's, <laughs> she keeps on keeping on, you know. She's yeah. Right. yeah. She said she wants to find a boy she wants to smooch, but somehow we deterred that. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. Smooch on. <laughs> <laughs> So, what can you share with our, our say, visitors, so people that may or may not be familiar with your music? What can you share with us about it? About our music? Mm -hmm. It's better than most music. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what we do is we make music that is more um, intelligent, enjoyable to listen to, um, well crafted than music you're, listen you're used to. I'd say so. Yeah. Where we lack in quality of band photo, we give you sonically. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. But we did just step up our band photo game. Does that mean like our music just got a little worse? No, I think we got extra credit. Because uh, we nice. did so well, they gave us like five more points. But yeah, we're, um, we're better than most bands. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, who did you guys listen to? <laughs> who are your influences? Um... I've always listened to uh, the Beatles and um, you know, like jazz musicians and stuff because I play saxophone. And, um, but yeah, the Beatles, Gorillas, Mel Banana, Pantera. Yeah, that was a good addition. I would say Pantera, Iron Maiden, uh, Mel Banana, um, Beastie Boys, and. Um, TJBC. Um, for myself, Lee Morgan, Freddie Hubbard for like trumpet players, like jazz horn players, and then like, you know, for, for, uh, for 
for like the, the rock stuff that I've been getting into and like ska and all that would be like the Mad Caddies and, and like Planet Smashers and all that. They kind of pushed me into that world, you know. They're good. Yeah. They are good. They are good. They are the good You're correct. So if your music could be the soundtrack to any film, which mm. would it be? Ooh. Quentin Tarantino would have to direct it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it could be like a, a Quentin Tarantino, like horrible porno. Yeah, full nudity. Full nudity. Bob with guns. Shot like Ocean's Eleven so you can see most of the nudity. Yeah. With a good All soundtrack. Them. With our soundtrack. Okay. With lightsabers. Lots of blood. I thought that was assumed. Other than zombies. And zombies. With um, a couple of those Pixar animation. Yeah. yeah. A few of them. Yeah. Yeah. I think Just, we need to get those made. Yeah. We actually found this uh, the school zombie trailer yeah. online that this uh, this group from like uh, Holland was making called Worst Case Scenario. Mm. It was like the coolest two trailers we've ever seen ever. And we lost they lost funding, so they never finished the movie. Yeah. So I think last time we went, we played a show to like help them out. I think next they know that all our goals are when we go to Europe is to try and get this movie finished because. <laughs> It looks pretty good. It's just like amazing. Nazi, Nazi zombies. Wow. Do you want to know what it's about? Yeah. So from what we can gather is Hitler had a fallback plan. And um, that's funny to walk in on. And, uh, <laughs> 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 and um, Hitler had a fallback plan. And he lost the war. He let loose all these zombies that are all kind of attached to personal air balloons. And they would then attack uh, people who the allies. And uh, it looks so good, and we were so happy because we loved the zombie movies. And like Ryan said, we find we found out, boom, they lost funding. Yeah. yeah, that's like a Harry Potter kid not getting their movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is a shame. Yeah. We'll get it done. Mm -hmm. Good. So, how much support have you given us so far? Nice. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Um, well, we've done a, a show or two. And we've kind of. Are they getting things stuff. rolling again? No, we got to check in with them again. We're talking about the movie again? Yeah. yeah. We don't know. Mm. Yeah, we got. We got really disappointed. We got hurt. We got to check in with them and see what they're doing. Hope they don't give up. Shit, I'll be an extra. He did a great job. Whoever he is, <laughs> or she, or she. Jeez. So, what are your plans for after War Absorb? Laundry. Yeah. Hang out with the cats. <laughs> Um, shortly after we get back from Warp Tour, we're going to go to uh, China, Japan, yeah. and Hawaii, um, oh. which is just added to that. It'll be a very right. exciting days as well. We and uh, then we get back. We do stateside headlining tour, and then we'll be hitting the UK and Europe. Yeah. Yeah, this, this uh, next few months, for the record, we get to go to China, Japan, which we've never been, and Hawaii. Um, then we're going to go to Russia and Sweden and Finland and Ireland. 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 We're going to a bunch of places we've never been before, so wow. we kind of made a point that like you don't have to make any money. We're yeah. like, we want to go. Usually, your booking agent goes like this: these are your strongest markets. You want to go there. And we're like, we've never been to Spain. Yeah. We don't want to play there like, 15 times. Yeah. So we're kind of like, we're seeing the world, but we're pissing off our booking agent. <laughs> but he's a good guy. <laughs> Well, you guys certainly seem like you were going to be busy for the rest yeah. of this year, so... We'll be home for Christmas. So. Yeah. Good. Yeah, we're psyched. Uh, it's, it's a good thing to do. I mean, what, what really pleases me about our economy is finally everyone's as poor as I am. So, it really makes me feel good that I'm still seeing the world while everyone absolutely thinks that working their 9 to 5 job is going to be able to pay for their cell phone bill, light bill. It's it's not... There's, you got too many bills. America's got to know they're modern-day slaves at this moment, and they should quit, sell their DVD collection in stereo, and go see the world while the economy is bad. This is a good time to do it. It's a good time to do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's good advice. I agree. No one's going to listen to us. No one's going to listen to us. But they'll see our names sketched in the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> that's just thanks. Because we're getting dragged <laughs> off by the berets. <laughs> <laughs> Which happened. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> kind of. Well, I definitely want to thank you guys. Yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks for putting up with us. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Is there any, you know, final comments you'd like to share with our online viewers at popculturemadness.com? Um, 
Well, thanks for supporting us. Yeah. And, uh, we'll be around. We're always around the Philly area. You guys are based out of here. Mm -hmm. We always the Northeast is good because you can you know you can hit all these places really quick and just so we'll be around and mm -hmm. unless we're in Hawaii, we might, we might move. We might. And if it's and if it's Philly people, they should check out the song from Nerf Herder called New Jersey Girl. Uh, and they talk about the Trucadero, and it's probably the funniest song I've ever heard. Yeah. Have you heard it? No. Oh, it's so funny. Mm -hmm. I've never heard it. It's awesome. You're gonna have to check my out. Gotcha. New Jersey Girl from Nerf Herder is <laughs> the that. best Philly anthem I've ever heard. <laughs> and thanks for your new television show, which we really enjoy. It's always funny. Yeah, yeah. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> When Family Guy isn't on, we always got. We just went to a set visit for Always Sunny. My boss went. Yeah. Yeah, he was the lucky one. Really. Oh. <laughs> it helps tour, you know. You know like we were in, uh, I think, Europe and we started to get addicted, and uh, it, it definitely brings the spirits up. It's a great show. Yeah. We're watching like nonstop, like Always Sunny, Modern Family, yeah, and uh, some various other you know, shows. But that, that was really what got us through zombie movies. And uh, it was really weird, actually, being in the UK and Europe. We just, this is it. This is all I got. This is all the shows we got. <laughs> but um, we saw, we, we watched Inglorious Bastards while driving yeah. through the countryside in Germany. Did you really? That was fun. That was wild. Yeah.